And I just want to say hello. Um, first thing I want to do is pray. Our Father, which art in heaven, how would be thy name? Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Thou art the kingdom, the power, and the glory. I'm back again, guys, to empower, enlighten, and encourage. It's been a great week. It's a great day because God has allowed me to open my eyes this morning. And it's a new beginning for all of us, no matter what has happened this week. Um, we just have to understand that with God, all things are possible. I've heard, I've heard tragic things that are going on. I heard that people are, are going to jail. People are dying. And it happens all over the world. And what we could do is pray on it. I'm grateful today for where I am in my life. I don't have a great life, but I have a good life. From where I've come to where I am, God has covered me and my children. Um, I had a, a thing with my son. We're talking today. I was telling everybody him and I, he wasn't talking to me. Blup, I wonder why. But anywho, that happens. But today we're okay. It was just a misunderstanding. And things like that happen in the lives of family. Sometimes there's misunderstanding because I want him to do it my way. He wants me to do it his way. And, and then we miss the mark. But then somebody got to come around and make it happen. Make the change come through. You know, and um, I was able to go over to my son's house. And um, he told his son, kiss your grandma. I was like, you need to kiss me. And um, the door is open again, you know, and family is all we have in this life. If we don't take care of family, we don't love family, I believe I would be lost. I take care of my brother and people say, how's he doing? How's Buster doing? And all I can say is Buster is Buster because he's my brother. I took care of my mother before she died, you know, and... She taught me something that no one can ever take away. She taught me what true love is. In spite of me being a drug addict, in spite of me being a single parent and having no job, she loved me anyway. She welcomed me in her house. She never closed her door to me. And who am I if someone needs me that I would do it? Especially, it's my brother. You know, and, and he's hard to live with. But he's still my brother. I'm truly grateful today. Um, I called. I'm going to make calls today. If you like, you can call me at 203-466-9080. And for those who are listening, could you please uh, view when you view, I need you to share, like, and, and subscribe to YouTube. That would help me immensely. I, You see that big word immensely? I'm getting good. But I need you to help me help other people. Because as I said, I want to empower, enlighten, encourage. I want, I hear things, they, um, I saw something on my um, page today and it said, let this go viral. I don't know what it was, but I think it was something not nice. But I want this to go viral. I want it to be that for people to know you can change your life no matter where you are your life can be changed but you have to want to change and understand you have to have God in it God in your life changes everything I'm somebody that been there and done that and there's still things that got to be worked out in my life but I'm truly grateful that as I live I learn that I have four children, I have seven grandchildren, and I'm so proud of them. And I have some bootleg grandkids, bootleg sons and daughters, but they mine, you know, and they call me grandma, and they don't understand how wonderful it is. You know, I, I hear them, you know, a couple of times things that happened to them, 
and they, I believe they can always come to me because I'm going to be on their side because I've learned in my own life because I have friends that are are total of my friends totally my friends some people you know they say you your friend they are your friends and then they they mean well but then they are not able to follow through but I have friends that follow through at every turn every twist if they can do it they can do it and I don't even have to ask them and because of them I'm able to help somebody else see in order to be a friend you have to be friendly and people we teach each other how to take care of one another I have to teach you how to take care of your friends because somebody you know all those patties I know y'all help me the Shirley I know you help me to help somebody else the Dorothy the Carol's no last names but these are people that God put in my life to help me be a better person and we all are striving to be better there, there's so many things going on in our lives and everybody got something I don't care who you are where you've been or how you've been doing it you got something that's going on in your life and you need help and the only help only one that can help you is God and I have to say it over and over I have a um I call him my nephew and you know who you are if you're listening he said that um, he's God. I said, okay, you could be God. You know, but every, every now and then there's people that think that. But one day, he's going to realize it. And like I text him every day. He said, Ron, don't text me that God stuff. But I do it every now and then. Some say, text him some. And I tell him, this is what you need to hear. And it's okay. You know, it's okay where you are. But you got to know that sooner or later you got to turn around to God. You got to understand. Now, today, what I, what I want to do, because we big dog now. We, you can call in, as I gave you my number, 203-466-9080. You can text. And the cameraman is reading your text. So it's okay. And um, who I'm going to call is my granddaughter. Um, her name is Lauren, and she's 18. And I'm going to tell you what uh, happened to her today. I mean, this week, which I'm so proud. Wait a minute, I got to find her number. Remember, this is live, and you know I can't see that well, but hold on. I almost got her. Here she is. Um, she's, she, I told her she better answer because she said she would. She's going to go to church tomorrow. I have to ask my cameraman something. Okay, she hasn't answered the phone. What's up with that? Um, she's not answering. I just talked to her. I guess not. I told her to call me that I'd call her, but well, we'll let that go. But things are well in my life. But anywho, um, Lauren got her license. She graduates from Harding High School. Um, 